morning and welcome back students we will continue our topic of enzymes today's competency is competency number 2.5 and in this we are discussing about the diagnostic and therapeutic importance of serum enzymes in today's lecture we are studying about different aspect of the enzymes up till now we all know that enzyme causes catalysis that means they convert the reactant into product but that is the biological function of the various enzymes but in this lecture we are studying diagnostic use therapeutic use and use of enzyme as a laboratory agent so these three uses of enzyme for our benefit that we are studying in this lecture or how the serum enzymes helps in the diagnosis or non serum enzymes helps in treatment and in our laboratory that we are studying in this lecture first about the diagnostic importance of enzymes blood contains mainly two types of enzymes functional enzymes like coagulation factors and non functional enzymes functional enzymes means the enzymes which perform their function in blood whereas non functional enzymes means these enzymes have no function in the blood but that doesn't mean that these enzymes have no function in our body these enzymes have are functional in various cells but they doesn't have any function in the blood therefore they are called as non functional enzymes in blood these non functional enzymes are synthesized by various cells of the tissues in high concentration inside the cell the concentration of these non functional enzymes of blood are very high because they have function inside the cell they perform their activity inside the cells cell membrane does not allow these enzymes to come out of the cell or to come in blood so they enter into the blood during normal wear and tear mechanisms of cell for example if some cell dies at that time during the normal process if some cell dies or old or inflamed at that time that enzyme present in that cell will enter into the blood otherwise the cell membrane does not allow these enzymes to come into the blood hence the level of these non functional enzymes in the blood is very low but if there is disease to the tissues like cell death means necrosis or cancers inflammation infections in that case the enzymes which are present inside the cells enters into the blood and their level in the blood drastically increases in normal situation the level of this enzyme in the blood is low but in disease condition their level in the blood increases therefore these enzymes helps in the diagnosis of various diseases enzymes are very specific for tissues for example particular enzyme a is synthesized by a particular tissue b therefore if the level of enzyme a increases then you can say that tissue b is having some disease in this way by measuring the specific enzymes in the blood we can diagnose disease of a of that tissue one more thing about enzyme is enzymes are present in the blood in very small quantity although they increases in various diseases but their level does not increases more than nanograms or picograms in the blood therefore it is very difficult to measure these enzyme concentrations just like other substrate and if we want to measure the actual concentrations of these enzymes in the blood we require very sensitive instruments these instruments are costly and they are used only for research purpose but for practical purpose it is very difficult to measure the enzyme concentrations in the blood because they are present in nanograms some enzymes are present in picograms after the level increase also 
they does not exceeds more than nanograms or picograms therefore the chances of errors in measuring the enzyme concentration is very high hence practically we cannot measure the enzyme concentration in the blood then what we are measuring we are measuring the enzyme activity what is in by enzyme activity enzyme activity is nothing but rate of conversion of substrate to product that means how much product is formed by a particular enzyme that product we will measure and all of us know, know that small amount of enzyme can convert large amount of substrate into product so when large product is form it is very easy to measure the large product instead of small enzymes so in this case what we are doing we are taking a test tube in that test tube we are adding a substrate specific substrate for a enzyme if we want to measure a substrate if you want to measure an enzyme a then we have to add the substrate of that enzyme in a test tube then we will add the serum in that test tube serum contains all enzymes but all enzymes does not act on that substrate and we are adding the substrate in excess means in large quantity then the specific enzyme a present in the serum acts on that substrate and it will start catalysis after a fixed period of time we have to maintain the temperature and ph constant in this condition after a fixed period of time we will stop the reaction by adding some stopping reagent and after the fixed period of time we will measure how much product is formed measurement of product concentration is more because i have already told you that small amount of substrate can convert large amount of substrate into product so large amount of product is formed so measuring the large product is easy as compared to measuring the small amount of enzyme now after measuring the product after a fixed period of time we we, we can indirectly know that how much concentration of enzyme is present in the blood for example if blood contains small amount of enzyme or normal amount of enzyme then that will convert small amount of substrate into product in given time given time is fixed if the blood contains large amount of enzyme then in the given fixed time it will convert large amount of substrate into product so by measuring the product formed after a fixed period of time we can able to know that enzyme concentration in the blood now this indirect measurement of enzymes in the blood is called as enzyme activity and it is nothing but rate of formation of product enzymes can be or enzyme activity can be measured by two methods first is end point method and another is kinetic method these two methods you will study during your practical classes next we will see unit of enzyme as i have told you we cannot measure the enzyme concentration we are measuring the enzyme activity so to measure the enzyme activity there are two units international unit and catal catalytic activity now international unit is defined as amount of enzyme that will convert 1 micromole of substrate per minute in 1 liter of sample and catal or catalytic unit is nothing but it is defined as number of moles of substrate transferred per second per liter of sample now we will see some examples first example of enzyme we are studying is allylene amino transferase ald the old name of this enzyme is sgpt which is still in use long form is serum glutamate pyruvate transferase now inside the cell this enzyme converts 
alanine and alpha ketoglutarate into pyruvate and glutamic acid normal level of this enzyme is 5 to 30 unit per liter now the concentration of this enzyme is found in large in following tissues it is the main enzyme of liver but it is also found in skeletal muscles kidney and brain whenever there is a disease of this organs then large amount of enzyme present inside the cells of this tissue enter into the blood and its level in the blood increases and when the level when we measure the level of this enzyme in the blood we can diagnose the disease of these organs now the second enzyme is aspartate amino transferase or ast the old name is sgot long form serum glutamate oxaloacetate transferase it catalyzes the reaction by converting aspartate uh, to plus alpha ketoglutarate into oxaloacetate and glutamic acid its normal level is 7 to 35 unit international unit per liter and its concentration is found in large concent large quantity in following tissues mainly in the heart followed by liver skeletal muscles kidney and rbc if these organs are disease or damage then the level of this ast increases in the blood and by measuring the levels or activity of ast in the blood we can diagnose the disease of these organs the next enzyme is alkaline phosphatase as the name suggest it catalyzes the conversion of substrate into product at ph 9 to 10 and hence it is called as alkaline phosphatase enzyme it generally removes a phosphate bond from the organic phosphate compound its normal level is 40 to 125 unit per liter it is found in large concentration in liver bile duct and bones if these organs are disease or damage then the level of alkaline phosphatase in the blood increases and by measuring the level of alkaline phosphatase we can diagnose the disease of these organs next enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase it converts actually it converts a reversible reaction of pyruvate to lactate with the help of coenzyme NADH it accept two hydrogen atoms and donate it to the pyruvate to form lactate and NADH is oxidized to NAD it is also, it also catalyzes the conversion of lactate to pyruvate so it catalyzes reversible reactions and it is found in large concentrations in heart liver kidney brain and rbcs so it helps in the diagnosis of these diseases now these are some different enzymes serum enzymes and their disease or their level increases in the respective diseases the level of serum amylase increases in acute pancreatitis sgpt as we have studied increases in liver disease sgot serum glutamate oxalate transaminase increases in heart attack or myocardial infarction alkaline phosphatase increases in rickets and obstructive jaundice acidic phosphatase increases in cancer and prostate gland lactate dehydrogenase ldh increases in heart and liver disease creatine phosphokinase increases in myocardial infarction it is a early marker it is called as early marker because its level increases early after myocardial infarction so helps it helps in the early diagnosis of myocardial infarction aldolase increases in muscular dystrophy serum level of 5 prime nucleosides increases in hepatitis serum level of level of gamma glutamyl transpeptidase increases in alcoholism so these enzymes helps in the diagnosis of the corresponding diseases after studying the diagnostic use of enzyme we will study the therapeutic importance of enzyme therapeutic importance means use of enzyme for the treatment of various diseases nowadays some enzymes are used for the treatments of various diseases these enzymes may or may not be synthesized in our body or these are enzymes belongs to 
non serum enzymes for example asparaginase is a enzyme which is used for the treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia it is a blood cancer it is a type of blood cancer streptokinase and urokinase it is an enzyme used to break the clot which is form in the generally in the coronary arteries causing myocardial infarction pancreatin these are this is a enzyme which is used in case of pancreatic insufficiency all of us know that majority of our digestive enzymes are synthesized by pancreas in case of pancreatic insufficiency the synthesis of pancreatic enzymes decreases therefore digestion will not take place properly in that condition the patients are given the pancreatin tablet along with the meal so this pancreatin contain pancreatic enzyme which causes digestion of the uh, food and helps in the patients of pancreatic insufficiency streptodornase it is generally applied locally if we are having inflammation or swelling because of some injury to reduce that swelling we can apply this streptodornase which is available in creams so that swelling get reduce next is alpha 1 antitrypsin it is an enzyme used in the lung disease called as emphysema cerasiopeptidase it is again an anti inflammatory drug which is given orally to reduce the inflammations and corresponding pain so this is about the therapeutic importance of various enzymes so one more aspect of enzyme is remaining that is use of enzyme in laboratory that is given a separate competency and we will study in the next lecture thank you very much